go over shears and scissors and we're gonna open some new scissors and shears that we got. We're gonna talk to you about some of the shears that um, we enjoy and there's these are the ones that we've been using and you've been seeing on the videos. And one is the Chris Christensen. This is the one that everyone sees in the videos and I use this for every groom. These are thinners and they are used as more of a finishing scissor and I, I love these ones so much. At first I really bought them because I love the blue but uh, they work really good for the face and for finishing. So this is what they look like brand new. They come in a box like this and they will come with a cleaning cloth, a wiping cloth, and they will come with some oil and these are clipped in nicely so we're gonna open the clip and we're gonna take this cover off and what I've been telling friends when they get brand new shears is you're not gonna want to start slicing them right away because there is a knob here and in this knob what they do the manufacturer usually has it where it, for example these are pretty slippery but if you start crunching and if you start opening and closing brand new shears if this knob is tightened too tight then you can potentially ruin the edge of brand new shears so you really don't want to start crunching new brand new shear or, or, or uh, slicing new shears without making sure the tension on this has been loosened so I'm gonna these were actually pretty loose uh, sometimes these can be really tight so when you open them you might find there's a lot of resistance if there is a lot of resistance you can turn it counterclockwise backwards uh, to loosen it or if you find that they're too loose in this case they're actually set Chris Christensen shears are usually set at a pretty good tension when they ship them and these there's they're not too tight I don't hear them grinding so they look like they're pretty good now when you get brand new shears like this a lot of times for example the Sanse shears these ones they came really lubricated as soon as I opened them uh, I could see the oil that they had put on so I took a soft cloth that came with the scissors and I wiped the oil off uh, these are brand new. I've just opened them and I do not see that they have been oiled. In fact, it looks like they have not been oiled. So what I would do with brand new shears after you check the tension to make sure they're not too tight is I would take some oil and open this up and where you want to put the oil, and it doesn't matter whose oil it is, this is a Sanse oil, but what you want to do is open the shears up and you'll want to try to oil in here to make sure that the joints are oiled. So I'll come around this way. I'll open them all the way up and I'll let some of this oil slide in. Um, making sure I don't spill the oil into Dolce's ears. So after you let it slide in, you can let it seep in a little bit. And then you would use the cloth that it came with. Um, and this is, it's a pretty soft cloth. You would use this cloth to wipe off any of the excess oil. And I don't like to, I don't like to rub it across because if you, um, you can damage these blades pretty easily. And in order to get a good cut on your dog, it's better not to dull, oops, to dull these blades. So what I do is I let the family members know in the house when they need scissors, please don't use the dog shears because cutting paper with these shears can actually dull the edge. And when you start dulling the edge, you'll find you won't get a, a nice finish. Now, even after adding oil, I feel like the tension might be a slightly too tight. So I'm going to loosen them a couple notches and they feel like they're at a good tension. Now, we're gonna open these Kenshi's. These are brand new, first time opening them. So as you can see, I just opened them. You can see there's some oil here. These are the probably the least expensive in the Kenshi line. And there is some oil on the blade. And so you, you'll wanna take care, and they are slightly tight, the tension. So I'm gonna loosen the tension so I don't crunch the blade 
and that feels good. They're not too tight. These are the five inch curves, and the reason why I bought these is because for Korean faces, I like using these Chris Christensen Pixies. These are the SV120 Chris Christensen Pixies, and I like these because they're really little, and for Korean faces, like for Pinky, uh, they really are nice for very, very fine tuning for these little types of Korean faces. Millimeters make a big difference. So I thought I would test out some of these. They're longer than the four and a half, so it's one whole inch longer than the Chris Christensen's. And they're pretty light. Um, these are a little heavier. This is super, super soft gauze. Is I would wipe some of this oil off. It's nice that Kenji does a good job of oiling the blades before they ship it to you. Taking care not to touch the blade, the actual blade. And the, the nice thing about these is they have the pinky um, support on both sides. So in a minute I'm going to show my daughter how to hold these, these shears and we'll test them out to see how they work. Um, but they're really pretty. They're super light. I feel like I'm going to like them. I already have the Kanchi, these are, I want to say four and a half inch thinners, and these are the five and a half inch, the five and a half inch Kanjis, and these are going to be very similar. These are the straights, and so they're tiny straights, and the reason, again, I bought these because for Korean faces, they work really well. Our dogs have very little faces, Maltese and Yorkies and the little dogs that we groom uh, have very little faces and so it's it's easier to maneuver around their face. It's a little bit of a blunt edge so it's slightly safer. These are the Sanseis that I use for the face as well in some of the videos. These Sanseis are the swivel thumbs and the blades as you can see are quite long. And um, these are great for body work, but when you're doing tiny, tiny Korean muzzles, these little shears I thought would be better than having wielding a big long shear around their face. These, however, are really fantastic for the body, and I really love having one straight, one curved, and one thinner. So these look pretty good. Um, these are not as oiled. They're slightly, the tensions, could be tightened actually, they're kind of loose. So, you can kind of get a good feel for how you like it. So now, these are some sear, sear, uh, shears. We're gonna let, <laughs> we're gonna let my daughter try out shears after I show her how to hold them. So, that'll be our next shoot.